What's up, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. This is the Steam version, though you could be experiencing this issue on any platform, including Xbox Game Pass. So, as you can see, I fired up the game, it asked me to log into an account, and I'll pick my account here. And I'll pick it again. And again, and this repeats on and on, and it never ends. You can cancel out of this, it complains in a robot voice that you have to sign in, and once again, you'll see we're stuck in the same loop. So how do we fix this? Well, it's relatively simple if you can't sign in. Some of you may not even see this window over here. First of all, I'll close out of the game entirely, just Alt F4. So before we begin this video, I'll be starting with the solution that worked for me, assuming everything's working properly. Then I'll go into other methods that I tried that didn't really work, but if you're having issues that are somewhat related, these could definitely help with you. To begin, we'll delete the Xbox credentials off of our computer entirely, forcing us to sign in again and forcing the game to forget about who we were, giving us a chance to sign in properly instead of using the broken accounts or broken credentials already saved in our computer. Then later on, I'll get to making sure the Xbox store is enabled, etc, etc. I'll just be starting here as this is most likely the solution that you're looking for and you'll be done as soon as possible. All we need to do is hit start and type in credentials or credential and we'll be opening the credential manager. Odds are this isn't a program you've seen before but don't worry about it. Click windows credentials on the right hand side and you'll see a whole bunch of credentials in the list here. All you need to do is scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see a whole bunch of xbl underscores down here. What we're looking for here is xbl device key not this one up here. This one here, just XBL device key. I'll expand it by clicking on it, and then I'll click remove and yes. Now that you've deleted these saved credentials, you'll need to reboot your PC. Now that our PC started up again, let's go ahead and fire up Forza. And hopefully things have been fixed for you. However, if they haven't, well, we need to carry on troubleshooting. So unfortunately, if we're still stuck in the same place, let's try and delete some more XBL credentials. All of these are linked to your PC and your account, and will be changed and re-added to dynamically as time goes on. So unfortunately, because deleting one wasn't enough, what we need to do is clear all of the XBL tokens, XBL tickets, etc, etc. So from the start over here, XBL ticket all the way down to the end, I'll remove all of these here. So click remove, yes, and rinse and repeat. Of course, this will take some time to do. Now I'm thinking that this likely has something to do with the fact that I have a game pass and I'm trying to play the game on Steam, it's getting confused between which version I own where. But by the end of this, hopefully the PC realizes, well, hey, I'm trying to launch the Steam one instead. And there we go. Now I've removed all of the saved XBL tokens. There's nothing left starting with X. Let's just go ahead and restart and see if things are better. So enter, and this time it's asking me to sign into Xbox. I'll click sign in, and of course, I'll have to enter my credentials once more. Now, we've actually removed the credentials entirely. What exactly has changed? Well, who knows? But now I can click let's go, and as you can see, Techno7708. So of course, from here on out, it's just playing the game. If you need any extra help, leave a comment down below. And of course, if you'd like to see an optimization guide to get this running and looking incredibly good, then check the description down below for guides related to this, etc, etc. So unfortunately, if we're still stuck in the same place, and we'll make sure that all of the required Xbox services are running on our computer. For this, I'll press Control, Shift, and Escape to bring up the Windows Task Manager, and I'll head across to the Services tab. Here, I'll click Open Services, and inside of this new window, I'll sort by name, scroll down to the very bottom, and we're looking for these services here. If you don't have these services, it's probably a good idea to try and download the Xbox software onto your computer and set them up. Xbox Accessory, Xbox Live Auth, Xbox Live Game, and Xbox Live Networking. Make sure to set all of these to automatic under the startup type. Just double click on something and set startup type to automatic instead of manual and or disabled. And then right click and start all of the Xbox services here. So these ones here. Now I'll scroll all the way up to G. We're looking for gaming services. If you see one or two, whatever they are, that's fine. Once again, make sure they're set to automatic and they are started. Once you've done so, you can try restarting the actual game itself, which for me is done through Steam here. Hopefully this time you'll get the login pop-up and when you do, you'll be able to sign in. So I'll hit enter to actually get into the game. And this time, let's see if we're able to sign in. Answer is no. I'll click use another account. And even though I'll be punching in the exact same credentials, let's see if it works this way. 
So I'm signing in with the exact same account, giving it access to my details. Uh, it still doesn't seem to work. Okay, so let's alter for out of the game and try something else. So the next step is to make sure that we're logged in with the same account on the Xbox store over here and the actual Windows or Microsoft store here. As you can see, I'm signed in with Techno7708 and the Windows store I'm signed in with Technobo at techno.co, the same account, so things should be working properly. If you don't have the Xbox app, simply search the Microsoft store for Xbox and download the Xbox app. Once you've done so, sign in after installing it, install any game services that pop up and are required and see if you're able to play the game. Otherwise, I'll be signing out of both of these platforms. So click sign out, click up here, click my account, then sign out and we'll be signing back into them. So first the Microsoft store, sign in, I'll confirm my password and my two factor, oh, just my password. And I'll do the same for Xbox here. Sign in, let's play. And there we go. Now that I'm signed in with both accounts, let's try firing up the game and seeing if it works now. I've been taken over here for troubleshoot. Thank you all for watching. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.